Why do we as humans take more thought of the bad things that happens to us than the good things that God allows in our life? Many of us are able to walk, we are able to move, we are able to work, we get paid, we pay our bills, at least many of us. We are able to eat on our own, we are able to drink on our own. We are able to do so many things that we don't take note of. But when God allows something bad into our lives, like we get so mad and, <laughs> and say, why God, like, why are you allowing this? Why are we taking more note of the bad things that happens to us and not keeping track of the good things that are happening to us? For instance, Earlier this year, I believe, I almost was in a car accident. Let's say that this is me, and this is the car that is going to hit me. This car was going so fast, I believe it was going over the speed limit. I believe. And I saw it coming and I knew that when this car hits me, it is going to hurt and I am going to die. Like, no doubt, this car was going right at my door <laughs> so fast. And if that car would have hit me, I'm telling you now, my car would have flipped perhaps five times, at least something like that and i am sitting there and i'm like i am dead and at the last second or whatever you want to call it it swerved and he braked and while he braked he was like Here! you know he was going back and forth and you know like that and stuff like that and he went into the ditch afterward when that happened, my heart was like so fast, like I could feel my heart and I could feel, I don't know what you call it, rushing all through my body. Like I was so hyped up for a while, man, because I knew that I should have died. That was nothing but God. I believe it was adrenaline, I believe. But that was nothing but God. Nothing but God. I would have died, man, easily. I remember when I was in high school and, you know, I wanted to get as strong, you know, I believe I was a freshman, I don't know. A freshman sophomore I forget but you know I saw those seniors you know they would push up that weight you know that heavy weight and I wanted to be strong like them too so <laughs> I'm thinking like hey you know to get stronger quicker what you have to do is what put more weight on there so I put more weight on it <laughs> more weight than I could <laughs> lift and you know I'll try to pick it up and I'm like <laughs> I go like this and stuff like that. And like to the point where I could not lift it up, where it could have dropped on my throat, like crushed my throat. And usually there was a person around that would come by and pick up that weight for me and tell me like, hey, <laughs> you can't start big. You have to start small first, then work your way up. You know, I didn't really listen, but <laughs> and there would be other times where, you know, I would have put too much weight on there and I could have really hurt myself so many times. Actually, I forget which year it was. I believe I was 28. I don't know. I forget what year it was. 
you know, I, I was adding more weight or, you know, I would go to the gym so much because, you know, like I wanted to get more stronger and, you know, bigger biceps and triceps and shoulders and stuff like that. So I would go to the gym probably about five or six times a week. And it was this one time where I forget exactly what happened because this was like probably two or three years ago. Something gave out. I forget what it was. And I couldn't put the weight back up. So what I had to do, I had to drop the weight down somehow. And when I dropped the weight, like I injured myself by doing that. And I was injured for about a year or more off that. And then when I tried to come back, I believe I did something else to the point where like it was too painful for me to lift like weight. So I had to stop lifting for about two years or something like that. And even now, like my right wrist, like when I try to push up weight, like more weight, whatever, it would be painful. But I'm not as hurt like I was before though. So what I am trying to say, I could have killed myself by lifting weights. Imagine that. A person dying. Well, I believe there are people that do die from lifting weights wrongly or really injured themselves. I could have died. I could have died in a car accidents. Give me a second, please. I could have died from car accidents. Like going to the gym, that was like the main thing I always did. And at first I was living for God and then I got, you know, arrogant and conceited and stuff like that. I believe that may have been the reason why God allowed me to injure myself. You know what is funny? Not really funny, but I would injure myself around the same time each year <laughs> for like three or four. How long was I lifting? At that point in time, four years straight, I would injure myself the same time each year. No coincidence. No coincidence. And that was like the main thing I would always do, like go to the gym and, and you know, push that weight and, um, you know, because I wanted bigger biceps and triceps and shoulders and, and traps and and quads and hamstrings and calves and stuff like that. Like, I want it to be really huge and going, you know, for those years, like I did gain more muscle and stuff like that. But like I said, it when I would injure myself, I couldn't lift. So I would get more weak, you know. But anyways, my point is, you know, I could have killed myself. But God saw fit for me to live. This is one of many reasons why I serve God, man. We have to start taking note of the good things that God does for us. To be quite honest, I should have died back when I was like, man, about 12 or something. Like, uh, I was on my bike. And I was crossing the street. I did not see no car. And this car was going real fast, like really, like crazy fast, like really, really fast. Like in that area, I believe you could only go about 35 miles per hour. This car was going faster than that. And I was crossing the street and almost when I crossed it, this car was like, I'm right here. And this car was like right here. And my heart dropped. <laughs> like, I'm serious. My heart dropped like down to my stomach, pretty much. Like I froze. 
and my life flashed before my eyes where I'm serious it was crazy yes I was young but my life flashed before my eyes where I could see my life like I could see everything that I did in my life within like a second I know that it makes no sense I understand that but I was dead. I knew that I was dead. My life flat. I believe that happened to me twice where my life flashed before my eyes where I could see it like my life going by or within like a quick second like I could see my whole life flash before my eyes which makes no sense I know but if it ever have happened to you you will know what I am saying. Oh my lord. And somehow that car swerved at the last second. And I knew about God at 12. I believe I was 12. Was I? About that, yes. I was 12. And I knew about God, but at that time period, I wanted to be in sin <laughs> at 12. Even when I knew about God. What if I would have died, man? I would have went straight to hell at 12. Man. And then another time at 20, I believe. I forget. Or, I don't know. Other times when I was younger. Could have died. Could have been shot and stuff like that. But I was saved each time. But, like I said, when God allows a bad thing to happen, why God? You get so angry, then you go back into sin, when God have done so much for you. Do you believe that you are going to live in this life and nothing is going to go wrong with you? When Jesus Christ came to earth, many bad things happened to him even when he did nothing to no one. So if bad things happened to him and he was perfect pretty much, he did not sin and we sinned, so why do we expect our lives to be trouble free when God had trouble pretty much not his whole life. I don't know about his whole life, but he had trouble on this earth. Even when he was born, the king was trying to kill him. King Herod, I believe. But you believe that you should not have no problems or no one should treat you wrong. Think about that. Why are you taking more note of the bad things than the good things? Be more grateful to God. Tell God how much you appreciate him. Why not? I don't do it all the time, but there are times when I do it. I'm like, you know, I thank you God for this. I thank you God for that. Blah, blah, blah. I tell him what I thank him for. Yes, some bad things are happening to me, yes, but compared to the good things that he is allowing in my life, the bad things that are happening to me is nothing. Nothing. But the few bad things that are happening, we make that larger than what God is doing for us. That should not be. So really take note of this. Stop being so concerned about the bad things in your life. Imagine if I would put so much weight on the bad things that are happening to me now. I would be depressed. I would be down every single day. I probably, I don't know, like my attitude would be messed up where 
I would not want to make any YouTube videos or help people or or text people and speak to people and stuff like that I would not be able to smile but I can smile even when bad things are happening to me because I know that God is with me because I serve God so I pray that this makes sense take more note of the good things that are happening to you than the bad things that are happening to you. Life is not going to be trouble free for you. So get that out of your head. That is foolish. Let me just stay to myself and not go around people because they may hurt me one day. Yes, they will. But why would you want to live that way, though? There is nothing wrong with being to yourself, but when you get to the point where you always that way, not really trying to help people or tell people about God and stuff like that or put yourself out there, if you are always that way because you don't want to get hurt, you are hurting yourself more by doing that. <sighs> My Lord. Yes, I get hurt by people by trying to help people and stuff like that. But the way I see it, hey, that's one more soul that is going to God. So yes, I may get hurt, but hey, I had time to teach that person. Yes, it hurts when they say mean things or when they get close to you then leave and stuff like that. That hurts, yes. But hey, if you see it in this way, hey, I received time to help that person out. I received time to pray with that person. I received time to read the Bible with that person. I received time to text that person. So I gave or I try to teach that person about God. And we don't actually know what really happens to those people when we tell them about God, like how much it is really helping them. Does that make any sense? So yes, by being around other people and helping people, yes, you are going to get hurt because I get hurt. Everybody or some people may think, that I am this tough guy and, you know, I can take arrows to the chest and stuff like that and not feel pain. <laughs> not at all. But being able to tell people about God, whether it seems like it is doing any good or not, that is a good thing. Because you don't know when that information that you are giving to that person is really going to help them. Because you may think that it is going into one ear and out the other. Like this one person that I was telling about God. And I'm thinking that it is going in one ear and out the other. But this one day, like years, years passed. This one day, this person came to me and told me the things that I was telling him. I'm like, what? <laughs> this guy re remembered what I was saying to him? Wow. I was shocked. So, I pray that this all makes sense. God bless.